It's time to heal and let go of fear. It's time to heal and let go of fear. It's time to heal and let go of fear. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you something that I'm super excited about. After doing a little bit of research, I've put together a script that I would like to share with you. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every Thursday. Today we'll be working through an eye gazing meditation. Interested, then just keep watching background information for you. So during this time, I would just say, you know, establish wise attention, wise efforts, a tall, long spine, open heart. In this video, my goal is that you will learn and experience this powerful eye gazing meditation technique. Some of the benefits of this meditation include becoming more present, opening your heart, expanding your awareness of the divine in all beings, increases your ability as an individual to experience intimacy, compassion, and kindness. It's designed as a partner meditation for couples, so you can do this with your significant other, family member, with a friend, but if you don't have another person, you can absolutely do this meditation by looking at yourself in the mirror. It breaks down walls, it breaks down, breaks through emotional baggage, all of these things that we cling to in terms of our story, our trauma, just the things that literally hold and grip in our tissues, in our cells. This is a great tool for cleansing and working through that. Not to say that this is easy by any means, but the simplicity of it is that you're sitting in your holding gaze. The connection you feel with another human being, the visualizations of past lives, future potentials, and more, all can become very real while engaging in this exercise. Like, you guys, it's so, so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited about relax because we're in, we're in meditation tone right now. Social anxiety and that is something that I myself suffer with. I find that I get super, super anxious regardless of the social situation. Whether it's large groups or even small intimate settings, I do get incredibly anxious and nervous. And I'm hoping that going through this exercise with some kind of regularity may help me process. And just over the last couple of months, I myself have found that fear is a reoccurring feeling in my life. Just not feeling so fearful and feeling Feeling more fearless is what I'm aiming for, engaging for, because deep down I know, and hopefully you know too, that you're worthy of that, right? Sometimes these these mental cues and these habits, they're cyclical and they no longer serve us, but they're hard to get away from because they're just habitual and they're ingrained in the headspace. So going through this, working through the barriers, maintaining the eye contact and letting go of fear. A good starting point is two to five minutes. You can integrate it into daily life by engaging people briefly in passing with the intent that when you meet their eyes, you will see beyond their outer form into their essence. You have this kind of mirroring like experience where there's union and there's this true connection. And this resonated with me, I think, so much because that's the practice of yoga as opposed to this separation. So we're dissolving barriers, we're dissolving the feelings of fear, of grief, and trauma, and we're recognizing this light in the other person. We're recognizing this love that's within me, but it's also within you because we're all connected, all of us. Everything everyone is connected as opposed to separate. Super beautiful, so inspiring. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you want to move on to the actual meditation, then just keep watching. Right now, you will sit facing your partner, cross at the ankles and bring the knees together. That's if you're seated on the floor. If you're seated on the floor, I would say a little bit of height for the hips is fabulous. Either sitting on a pillow, fold up a blanket. Um, if you have yoga blocks, bolster, sit on those things. You want the knees below the hips when you cross your ankles. If it's not accessible sitting on the floor, all is good. Sit on two chairs, but do have the knees touching one another. Once you have your comfortable seat, the next thing is that you are to create a safe and sacred space so creating this bubble and you can literally like draw a bubble with your hands and you can do that together where you're both enclosed and you are both in a safe supportive environment where nothing can infiltrate draw that around yourself draw that around your partner I'm in a safe place I'm supported I'm rooted down I'm anchoring into the earth and I'm drawing the earth energy up I feel really grounded really stable if there are things that you want to keep out of the bubble things like fear worry doubt you physically take out, I am removing fear. I am removing worry. I am removing doubt. 
So you take all of the negativity out of the bubble and then bring in the feelings that you would want to experience. So I am bringing in connection. I am bringing in love. I am bringing in support. All of these things that you want to have for this experience, you've made your bubble. You've taken out what you don't want. You've brought in what you do want. You are to make a gesture to your partner and you can express to them a blessing or a prayer. So an example, I'm so grateful that you are willing to share this experience with me. Tailor the meditation practice to both of your intentions, essentially. Now we are to share three more things. Desires and intentions, fears, boundaries. My intention is to stay present and connected to you. My fear is that I will laugh to avoid feeling what's actually coming up. And third is a boundary. My boundary is to stay connected even when distraction or resistance begin to rise and bubble up. So now moving right along to our script. Once you have created your sacred space, your bubble, create an energy circuit with your hands. Place your left palm up and your right palm down and join hands with your partners, palms touching yours. Close your eyes and begin to focus on your breathing. Allow yourself to breathe deeply with a long inhale and a slow exhale. Look within yourself, feel your current feelings, feel into your heart space and take the time to listen to your thoughts without judging them or trying to control them. Notice any physical tension or feelings you may currently have. Physical feelings of freedom, of resistance, Experience each of these in their fullness, their richness. Acknowledge and accept each of these, but do not be distracted from your breath. Continue to breathe deeply. Your breath is smooth and complete. Your breath is becoming smooth and steady. When you feel these thoughts, emotions, and physical sensations begin to settle, provide a signal to your partner. Keep your eyes closed, but lightly squeeze your partner's hand to let him or her know that you have reached a place of stillness and are ready to begin the soul gazing meditation. Wait for your partner's response. Once you have received a squeeze of your hand back, both of you open your eyes slowly and steadily. Gaze into your partner's eyes. Traditionally, it is recommended that you begin by gazing into the left eye. This is because the left side of the body is the feminine, receptive side. Use a soft gaze. Know that this is not a staring contest. There is no strain. There is no force. It is okay to change eyes as you see fit. Just relax and breathe and allow the experience to begin to unfold. Notice what arises without judging it or pushing it down. Be open and curious like a child. Relax the gaze and allow the eyes to defocus a little bit. You'll be more open to taking in the experience of each other that way. Breathe through the nose and relax shoulders, your jaw, and your eyebrows. Your meditation object is the experience of your partner. 
he or she is an experience within you. Relax and experience whatever happens. Allow the gaze to increasingly soften and your breath to increasingly deepen. As you become more open to the experience, these things will happen naturally. Begin to synchronize your breathing with your partner. Until the both of you are inhaling and exhaling together. Please do not rush or strain to make this happen. Take your time and lean in. Let your breath be subtle. Remember, smooth and steady, but charged with the energy of life force. Feel the energy of this moment of intimacy, of connection. The experience of your partner is always fresh and new, moment to moment. There is always some new dynamic occurring during the gaze. Each moment is fresh. The shape of your partner's face may change. This is normal. You may see different colors. They may change into other forms. Lean into it all. Things will come up and arise within you. Please do not push them away. Hang with it. You may feel tension, sadness, anger, guilt, fear, awkwardness, resentment. Always be present with this and take note without becoming attached to these feelings. Let them rise and let them melt. The more you can lean into these feelings, the more baggage you ultimately release. Release may manifest through tears, yawning, sudden laughter, or tension release in your body. Be careful that laughter is not a clever device to deflect what you are feeling. Choose not to block the flow of this experience. Allow all things during this meditation to arise. Maintain your gaze. Slowly and kindly. Place your left hand on the heart of your partner. Feel that. Lean into that. Maintain your gaze. Place your right hand on your own heart. Lean in. Feel that. Maintain your gaze. Take Anjali Mudra prayer palms at the center of your heart. Soften your gaze, soft bow of the chin, relax your shoulders, relax your face. Your eye gazing meditation is complete. Take some time to process, let it settle, let it be. Be sure to close with gratitude to yourself and to your partner. Now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would be so curious for those of you that do 
the meditation that follow along with either yourself or with a partner, I'd be so, so curious to hear from you how this went and what your experience was like and putting in that work, putting in the time for your own growth, your own change and your own shift. And I would really appreciate it if you were to share this video with anybody that you think would either benefit from it or appreciate it. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.